guys. Watch me do my routine for my brand new job. If you guys are excited, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and join Club Pinky. And if you have joined, turn on those notifications. Now let's get into it. To kick off my routine, I turn on my speaker so that I can vibe out and listen to music while I get ready. Then I proceed to brush my teeth. I used Colgate Total Toothpaste on my toothbrush. The toothbrush is an Oral-B electric toothbrush. I forgot what brand, what kind, what model. Then I proceed to brush my teeth. Can't forget the tongue. Then I spray my toothbrush with alcohol to keep it sanitary. I wipe it off, then cover it up with my toothbrush cover and put it back. Now it's time to floss with Plackers Micro Mint Flossers. These are so much easier to use than regular dental floss. Then I use some TheraBreath Oral Rinse. It's a very good mouthwash. I highly recommend it. Keeps your breath fresh. Kills germs that cause bad breath. Just a quick time check because I got a bus to catch. All clean. Now, am I going to do my hair yet? Am I? Look at it. Does it look like it needs to be done? Not yet. Because so I got to take a bath first. So what I'm going to do is tie up my hair to put it in a shower cap. This took longer than it should have, unfortunately. I had just gotten my hair done a couple days ago, so you know I need to protect it. So what I do is I put a towel around my head, tie it up with an old hair tie that I don't use anymore to protect my edges. Then I take some shower caps, AKA processing caps, to put on top of the hair so that any humidity or anything will not get to the towel, will not get to the scarf. Those were stretched out, so I had to get some new ones to put on my head. I usually like to use like three of these to protect my whole head. Then I have my, what, nylon shower cap to put over everything. The whole purpose of this process is to prevent my hair from getting wet or frizzy. And I do apologize for the crust, but then again, I am getting ready. Now it's time to get undressed and into the bathtub. I use African black soap for my face, original Irish spring soap for my body. I also use, like to use Castile peppermint soap. I like to use it on my armpits, on my back, wherever I need it. I don't want to use too much because it makes me all cold and stuff. So this is me washing my face. I like to lather it with water. Then I put some African black soap on it. A little goes a long way. Rub it all over, scrub my eyebrows. Then I take this scrubbing rag, put a little bit of soap on there, and scrub my face. Look at me singing along to the song. Yeah, I get the dead skin and stuff. I've been told you're supposed to be gentle with your facial skin, but yeah. Then I rinse it off, dry it off, finish my bath. If you guys want to see the rest of the bath, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Just kidding. I will never post nudes on the internet. So here I am. I'm out of the, out of the tub. I'm going to put some witch hazel on my face. I like to take a cotton round and the witch hazel. Put it on my face. Kind of moisturizes my face a little bit. Um, witch hazel is really good for um, getting rid of hyperpigmentation. Uh, years ago, my face, the, my, the skin around my skin around my mouth used to be a little darker but ever since I started using witch hazel it is lightened up yeah for my skin I like to use Cetaphil I like to use speed stick deodorant I use deodorant instead of antiperspirant because the aluminum and antiperspirants can cause breast cancer and I do not need that I like to put like 30 strokes per pit with that stuff it still works pretty well Vaseline with cocoa butter for my lips I'm dressed, got my Fashion Nova pants, black tank top, and my Future Collective blouse from Target. Black owned designer, by the way. So here I am, buttoning up my shirt. It's real cute. I've been waiting to pull this shirt out. I'm gonna use a Q-tip to apply the Vaseline to my lips to moisturize my lips. Now it's finally time to do my hair. I untie my hair, take off the shower caps, take off the towel and take off the scarf. I like to put a, a big scarf, drape a big scarf um, on my clothes so I don't get any hair or anything on my work clothes. 
This is an edge brush, edge comb, regular comb, wide tooth comb, and fine tooth comb, rat's tail comb, like two separate parts, and a fine tooth comb. Edge control. So I'm just gonna comb my hair out first with the wide tooth comb. I had a part from my hair when I got it done the day before. Don't wanna retire it just yet, so I'm gonna clean up that part with the rat tooth, rat tail comb. Look at that, I'm a pro. Time check, two o'clock. I have to leave around three to go to the bus stop. I'm gonna use my little edge comb to just clean up that part a little more. It looks pretty good, but I just wanna make sure that it's perfect, perfect. I'm a perfectionist to an extent. Girl, these little edge brush and edge combs are life changing. Now I'm gonna put on the extra firm edge control on my edges. Slick them down. Then I brush it down. There I am singing again. Uh, don't hit it to your head, babe. Just forget what I said. Shahadi! Sorry, y'all. I had to. That's a banger. Don't forget the kitchen. Because the kitchen curls up first. Now I'm going to make myself a little swoop in the front just to add a little razzle dazzle to my hair. Like the edges really do make the hairstyle. Like the swoops really do make hairstyles look better in my opinion. Thought I was looking cute right there. Combing it out some more. Off camera, I put three bobby pins on that part behind my ear. In the meantime, I decided to tie the hair down so I could lay down my edges, lay down the top of my head, even though it's not gonna stay laid down for the rest of the night at work. That low. Felt like putting on lashes. This is my first time wearing lashes to a shift at this job. I used Duo Eyeliner Slash Lash Glue. Time check, still doing good. Then I put Duo Lash Glue on the lash strips. And then I applied them to my eyes. This took like 15 minutes. I used Kiss Lashes, they're right there. A birthday gift from my friend. I put on some little rhinestones. Put on those earrings. I have not worn those earrings since what, high school, middle school? I can't remember, I had to clean them off. Put them on. Then I have my Crocs, translucent clogs with charms. They match the shirt. Been waiting to pull these out with this shirt, shoot. Put on some lip gloss, get my purse, and I'm basically done. Already, just a little 360. Wish you guys could see my shoes better, but oh well. I'll show you guys the shoes again. Yeah, put my foot up. See, look at that. Yes, model. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get any Instagram worthy photos in this outfit. Plus I was trying to hurry up and get to the bus stop. So I was on a schedule. So yeah, this wraps it up for my get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and join Club Pinky. Cause if you aren't part of Club Pinky, what are you doing with your life? Stay tuned for more content in the future. Check out my old content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to follow me on my socials coming up. Oh, 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 oh,